Hey there, today we're making iced coffee with milk. Two easy and super tasty ways. We'll show you how to keep that rich coffee flavor, how to add ice without ice coffee getting watery, and how to get that perfect balance of coffee, ice, and milk. Plus, we'll share tips on choosing the best milk for frothing or when you're just adding unfrothen milk. Ready to dive in? Let's go! You'll need ice cubes, espresso, and milk. Let's start with some quick tips. Of course, we need ice. First, use a few extra cubes to chill your glass. Or, if you have time, pop the glass in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Some tips on milk. You can froth the milk or just put it in liquid. We love frothy milk. And here's a tip. If you want to use frothed milk, the best milk for cold foam is low-fat milk with 3 to 3.5 grams of protein and low-fat. Around 1.5 grams of fat is fine. It gives you that perfect, stable cold foam. If you are not frothing, full-fat milk works best. Remember, ice will melt and dilute the milk, so the higher fat helps to keep that creamy flavor. You can also try almond, oat or other plant-based milk. Just make sure it's cold. That's why keep the milk you chose in the fridge. Now espresso. Make your espresso stronger than usual. We will dilute it with ice and milk, so double up the espresso and use less water. If you are using your favorite brewing method, just add more coffee powder. Let's pull it all together. First method. Make iced coffee with ice cubes and milk. First step. Make strong espresso. The stronger, the better. Now's the moment to add sugar or syrup if you want. It dissolves best when espresso is still hot. Pro tip. Don't add syrup over ice. It gets thick and sinks to the bottom. Check out our video for white chocolate or chocolate coffee syrups. If you have time, chill espresso in the fridge. If not, give it a quick ice bath for 3 to 4 minutes. Look, the espresso is cooling down perfectly. Chill the glass, either with ice or grabbing the one you had in the fridge. Toss out any melted ice or water once the espresso is chilled in the ice bath. Optional step. Want to get fancy? Drizzle some syrup inside the glass for decoration. Fill the chilled glass with ice cubes. Pack it up. Pour in cold milk. But stop just before the top, leaving room for espresso. Check out our video for the best ways to froth cold milk. Add your cooled espresso. Look at those layers forming. And boom, your iced coffee with milk is ready. Second method, make iced coffee with milk and espresso ice cubes. This one takes a little prep, but it's totally worth it. Freeze your espresso into ice cubes ahead of time. When you're ready, fill the chilled glass with those espresso cubes. Add your frothened or regular milk. No need for extra espresso here. The coffee flavor melts right into the drink as the cubes dissolve. And there you go. Two delicious ways to make iced coffee with milk. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy.